Hi, my name's Steve Ray from Makita UK and I'm here with UK Planet Tools and we're going to take a look at the new products launched in September. Now we're going to take a look at the BAC01 power convert unit from Makita. So this power converter will actually convert the power from our solid state PDC1200 battery or from the PDC01 which is our LXT version of the backpack battery which takes four individual LXT 18 volt batteries. Now obviously if you use the dedicated PDC1200 backpack that obviously delivers a lot more wattage of power so that goes up to 1200 watts of power so that will actually give you the top performance from this unit compared to the LXT version but the LXT version still, does still have its place and is able to power plenty of the options we can use. It just won't give you as long a run time. So now we're gonna concentrate more on the unit. As you can see, it is the MacPak design on the unit. So it is completely connectable with any of your MacPak systems. It will connect to a MacPak on the top or the bottom. So if you are using it without the battery system in order and you're just storing it and transporting it around, you can have MacPaks on the bottom and on the top. But if you are using it as the converter, you obviously can't put a Mac pack on the top because that's where our battery will go. On the sides, we have two large carrier handles. So it is nice and easy to move around the job site into positions that we want to. And with the sustainer obviously connected again, it gives you options to carry it around with them carrier handles. It is fully compatible with the Mac pack trolley as well. So if you have got this on Mac packs, and the battery on top, you can have it on your Mac pack trolley so you can move it around there with the wheels. To the unit itself, some of the specs on the unit, what we can use on it, on the front you can see there, to the left we have the USB slots, so we have two USB type A and two USB type C's in there. In the center we have two AC outlets, now this is our sample unit so this has two Euro plugs in there but when you buy the unit as standard it will come with two 240 volt outlets on there, AC outlets. To the right of the unit, we then have our DC 12 volt power supply as well. Now, all of these are controlled by the functions on the top of the unit. So on the top there, we have USB, AC, DC 12 volt, as well as our output wattage bar. So on the bar there, you've got seven different lights and that will tell you what sort of output wattage we're delivering when we have devices plugged into the unit. We also have an alarm button, so when this does go over 1400 watts, the alarm will sound to let you know that it's either going to cut out or that it has reached its max capacity and we need to start dropping off some of the power, which means just individually unplugging some of the items to drop that output to a lower output. We then can choose as well whether we have 60 or 50 hertz delivered to the AC power. So now we've gone through some of the features on here, I'm just gonna show you how to connect the battery to the unit itself and power it up so you can see it all lit up. So if we turn the unit round here, you can see on the back there, we've got a sleeve which our cable can go in, our excess cable, and then we have our plug there which is sealed, so we can unplug that. On the connection port, it does have an arrow on the top, so when I bring the unit up and plug it in, you'll be able to see that we can match that up there. So this is our PDC 1200. This is the solid state battery. So you can't open this, it is a sealed unit. With this now, we can just drop this on the top. So location lugs, clip in, clip the battery on the top, feed the cable into the sleeve at the back. With the arrow on the top of there and the arrow on the top there, I now connect that up and that's ready to use. So we can spin the unit round Turn the power unit on on the top, and now that indicates with a green light on the top that we've now got power to the unit. So now, when I plug my individual products into the machine to start charging or controlling, we then can isolate with the USB, AC, and DC. So now if I had anything plugged into any of them three, they would all be live and working. If the wattage goes up too high, we can isolate. So again, if I'm not plugging anything into my USB, I can then isolate that so it only delivers power to the AC on the unit. When you're using this unit with this PDC1200, you will get more runtime um, than you do with the PDC01, which takes the LXT batteries. So with this power unit itself, the PDC1200, if you put a 50 inch 4K TV plugged into this unit, it will allow you to run it for eight hours. If we then took that off and put a fridge freezer on there, it will give you nine hours of runtime. So plenty of runtime off of this unit with this battery here. Obviously with the PDC01, it will just lower that runtime on the units itself. But in the instruction manual, it will give you a rough idea of how long it will run with certain products on there. 
So that is the BAC01 power converter unit from Makita UK, available now on UK Planet Tools website.